Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to derive equations for position, displacement, velocity and acceleration of a point on the slider of a scotch yoke mechanism. In this picture shown is a variation of a scotch yoke mechanism. So the crank length is R and the distance between the center point of this slot to point P is D. Angular, angle of inclination of this slot is beta with respect to vertical and the crank has angular velocity omega and angular acceleration alpha. So in this video I am going to derive equations to find displacement, velocity and acceleration of point P on this slider. Let us see in the coming slides how to do that. So when this angle theta is 0 then this point P will assume this position P1. So then the distance between O and P1 is R plus D. So R is the crank radius and D is the distance from this point to this point. So this distance is R plus D. Now when the crank rotates by an angle theta in the counterclockwise direction then uh, this P1 will, be, will assume this position P. So the displacement of point P is X from here to here. So in this diagram we can write R plus D equal to uh, Y that is distance from here to here y plus from here to here it is d and from here to here it is x. So we can write r plus d equal to y plus d plus x. So in this equation d gets cancelled so we get x that is a displacement of point p equal to r minus y. So in this diagram distance from here to here is r. So this is angle theta. So the component of this distance oa that is r along this horizontal can be written as r cos theta. So that will be distance from here to this point. So let us see, let us assume from this point to the center of this slot is z and from the center of the uh, slot to this o is y. So from this diagram we can write y equal to r cos theta minus z. So that is written here y equal to r cos theta minus z. Now let us transfer these two triangles here to here. So here we can see very clearly. So the distance from O to A is R that is the radius of the crank and this angle is theta. So from A to A prime. So from this point to this point uh, let us draw a vertical line here. So this distance can be written as R sin theta. So this is R sin theta. So again we have here angle between this slot and vertical is beta. So that is written here. So angle between this vertical and this line is beta. So from this diagram we can write uh, A A prime we have already seen R sin theta. So from this diagram we can write tan beta equal to Z by this A A prime. So this distance we assumed it is z. So tan beta equal to z by r sin theta. So that is written here tan beta equal to uh, b a prime that is z by r sin theta. We have seen in the previous slide tan beta equal to b a prime by r sin theta. So b a prime is z. So this equation will become z equal to r sin theta into tan beta. So now let us substitute z in y. So we get y equal to r cos theta minus r sin theta into tan beta. So let us substitute this y in x that is displacement of point p. So x, x can be written as x equal to r minus y. So that is x equal to r minus r cos theta plus r sin theta tan beta. So this is the equation to find displacement of point p on this slider. To find velocity of point p on the slider let us differentiate x with respect to time. So v equal to dx by dt. So differentiation of r with respect to time is 0 since r is constant. So this term will become r omega sin theta and differentiation of this term will become since uh, beta is constant so theta is only variable. So this term will become 
r omega cos theta into tan beta so velocity of the point on slider p that is a v can be written as v equal to r omega into sin theta plus cos theta into tan beta so this is the equation to find velocity of point uh, p on uh, the slider to find acceleration of point p on the slider we need to differentiate uh, this velocity equation with respect to time so a equal to dv by dt so this equation uh, after differentiation will become r omega square cos theta plus r alpha sin theta minus r omega square sin theta tan beta plus r alpha cos theta tan beta so finally the acceleration of point p on this slider a equal to r omega square into cos theta minus sin theta tan beta plus r alpha into sin theta plus cos theta tan beta so this is the equation to find acceleration of point p on this slider that's all for today's video if you like this content please like share and subscribe thanks for watching